Hey everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Um, today we are going to be looking at the server. Um, I haven't really uploaded a video on the network yet because I tried to upload one I believe yesterday and it wouldn't upload because it crashed in my computer. So I thought I might go into a little more depth of the server. So the lobby right here, it's all in the old lobby. Um, we'll be replacing it soon enough. Um, there's a lot of configuration that we've changed. Like the main plugins in this lobby right now. We're not using any of these. Um, you could come over here to this NPC and look at the hosts and servers. And you can even create your own server. All you have to do is just set a name, the server template, and the uh, version. Right now the versions won't matter because it's only set to 1.13, but it has plugins like um, via version for, capabil ugh, for capabilities of 1.13 and 1.14. So if you join in 1.14, you should be good. Where we're waiting for via version to update to support 1.15 so 1.15 clients can join as well. But as of this moment, 1.15 clients cannot join due to the plugin not being updated. With the server template, uh, we only have paper ticket at the moment because it's very lightweight and it was the only one we set up. And after you get all three of these green then you can create the server here um i'd highly advise to leave the server port alone because usually the ports are already taken like 25565 or etc and it will give it to your server yes but it will prevent it from starting up and you'll have to have an administrator delete the server that you created and wait for it to regenerate the files and in that process it could also allow someone to steal that name as well um, you can actually click on um, view network and it brings up all the servers that we have um, right now I have the test server out and it gives support as well um, Only administrators can have access to these commands right here, like the um, stop server, terminate server, and to send a command. Um, this is to opt the user when they create their server for a security reason. Um, right now, well that one's broke, okay. Um, all we have right now is just local host. Uh, we don't really have any more server networks just yet because we still don't have any partnerships with anyone. Um, so I guess we could go ahead and join test. Um, before we do, if your server is offline and you come to join the server, you can type start and then the server name that you created. Um, anyone can start it up, but the server is already running, so we could just type server and then test, and then it sends us to the server. Um, I'm trying to make this video as quick as possible because it takes forever. But, um, so much lag. Sorry about that. That was a lot of lag. Yeah, it's still lagging. Um, this is the castle we're working on currently. I know it's not much, but we're still working on it. Um, we redone spawn a couple times, and this is how it came out. We wanted to perfect the looks of it. Um, these are the plugins that every server will have with the capabilities from creating it on our network. Um, you'll have uh, banner board, well, no, actually, no, not banner board. That, that's for premium servers if you purchase it, but um, 
you'll have file manager, installer, network, which is what connects your server to my network. If you tamper with that, I can't make any promises that it could be fixed, that it could be recovered. So do not mess with that file. That's all I can tell you. Um, if you want plugins installed, you can use the installer which searches bucket. Search and then let's say vault. We already have it, but you can select whatever plugin that comes up. Um, we have vault selected, so we're just going to hit select project. Um, this is very, very important. It gives you a version on the plugins that you have to look at because some of them they're labeled with 1.0. 13, 1.12, things like that. So it's very important you look at it in order for this to work. Um, the version you want is 1.13, right here, 1.13, or else the plugin will not load and it'll give you an error. And if you do, by mistake, install the wrong plugin, uh, you can type installer plugin manager. And it brings up all the plugins in a server. Uh, say you installed the wrong plugin like Protocol Lib or World Edit. Uh, you have the option of enabling it, disabling it, and deleting it. When you download a plugin, it automatically registers it, so you don't have to restart. Uh, have a plugin that you want to insert into the server? Let an administrator know, and we can actually help you out. Uh, we can, we'll be more than glad to upload custom jar files to the network. Um, we obviously do tests before we upload plugins, because we want to make sure they do work. Uh, like CMI, that's a premium plugin, which will go with premium servers. Um, banner boards, that's a premium plugin, which it'll go with premium servers. Ultra permissions, ultra regions. Uh, Ultra Customizer, yeah, actually I don't think Ultra Regions was a premium plugin, but you get the point. Uh, if you register a premium server, you get premium plugins as well. So, keep that in mind. Uh, CMI, it has a lot of capabilities. It has um, chat control, chat filter, everything. Tab list. Um, a band system, holographic displays, everything. So all the plugins that I've showed you, you can run your entire server with. Like Uperms, it controls all the groups, all the players. You can even see people offline as well. Um, you can create groups in here as well, which is a whole lot easier. You can arrange them in the, the row you want. It's very helpful. The only downside that we have right now is we don't have a panel so you can edit it online like Minehut or Adernos. We are still trying to figure some of this out, but with our budget so low, we are requesting donations in order to help keep the entire network going smoothly. Uh, we had a couple donations already, which helped us get some of the plugins like Bannerboard, CMI, and uh, Ultra Permissions, which that helped a lot. So thank you for that. Um, so yeah, that pretty much covers it. Um, When I get a chance, I'm going to be um, attempting to, well, I've been trying to find a plugin to replace the server command with a slash join. But you don't have to deal with this. Cause there's going to be tons and tons of rows of nothing but the servers. And I don't like that, honestly. I think it's too cluttered. Or cluster. I don't really know how to. Um, I don't know if you heard about banner boards, but you can actually... Uh, connect custom commands to it like a shop which also helps out so uh, 
um, I guess to stop wasting your time, and I'll talk to you all later.